In previous tutorials, I've already shown you how to read in S-Bus meters and visualize them with the S-Monitoring application. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how data from M-Bus meters, or any other meters, can also be stored and visualized with the S-Monitoring application. We'll run through all this based on the example of a Honeywell M-Bus meter. Here, I'm using a PCD3-M6860 with an MBUS interface card and a Honeywell heat meter. Open your project and make sure you've added the interface card in the device configurator. Now open your Fupla program and add a new page for the MBUS communication. I'm using the NGB MBUS library. You can obtain this at www.ngb.ch. First, position the MBUS driver and set the channel through which the card communicates. In our setup, the card is in slot 0 and we use channel 0 on the card. The line type is MBUS F27XX. We also set the data buffer length to 50, as our meter delivers a very large amount of data. Now we still have to set up the communication F box. For most meter types, there's already an F box available. In my case, it's a hydrometer Skylar. All that has to be set here is the M bus address and the data polling interval. I'd like to read data every 30 seconds. Now we'd like to feed the M bus energy meters values into the S monitoring application. For this, S-Monitoring lets you add virtual counters, which the program treats like S-Bus meters. To do this, add the Custom Counter F-Box. In the Custom Counter F-Box, you also have to set a unique address, like with M-Bus meters. The permitted address range is from 300 to 550. I'd now like to link my M-Bus meters energy value to the Custom Counter's count value. In this case, the other three possible count values are not needed. In the counter, in addition to the address, I must also set the value's input format. In my case, two decimal places is already correct. I can also give the counter a name. and set the unit for displaying the values. The heat meter delivers kilowatt hours, so I'll also select kilo as the exponent. The S monitoring function offers ready-made templates for various counter types. In our case, we have a heat meter with the heat template. For the counter type heat, the web editor already has ready-made templates. Simply link the meter's value to the relevant input on the F-Box and it will automatically be visualized. If no templates available yet, we also have counter types that you can adapt to your needs. These are counter types UC1 to UC5. Each counter type already has a ready-made web page on which you can simply adjust the names of the individual values and delete the surplus values. Along with the count values from a meter, other values can also be displayed. This is done with the Auxiliary Values F-Box. The Auxiliary Values F-Box must reference the Counter F-Box. The template for heat meters is pre-configured so that the feed temperature goes to value 0 and the return temperature goes to value 1. Now create an image and download the program. If you now access your controller with the browser, you see that in addition to the connected SBUS meter, another counter has been added. It has the name Heating1, which we gave it. Along with daily, weekly and monthly consumption, the auxiliary values, such as feed and return temperature, are also shown. 
Of course, you can use this method to input, store and visualize data not just from MBUS meters, but also from any other type of meter. In addition to displaying meter values, figures that you've calculated in the controller can also be visualized this way. This opens up a broad range of uses in terms of energy data capture and visualization.